Evening. Uh, thank you. Evening, everybody. Another fine show tonight we've had, and we will have once I'm done. Be more videos going up. It's been really nice to be here on such a sunny day, which I didn't get to see all that much of it today. I uh, a little time up in the Brocky and E today. Me and craft knives don't uh, go together. Anyway, I think I've got uh, a couple of poems for you. These are all fairly new ones. Um, I'm going to try to keep it slightly lighter tonight. And this one's called uh, You Stole the Sun. And it's uh, the prompt words I was given to write this poem last month is How Did the Sky Look? It's, um, apart from the very first line, every single song uh, line in this comes from a song different songs throughout the way so it's slight plagiarism uh, it's an upcycled poem you stole the sun crispuscular rays before you start your day hoping to see better but not gray i can only hope for the best now but you'll take a rest then we'll fly high in the sky as the blue skies appear every time you are near and you look at the clouds from both sides. But wait, here comes the sun, like grease lighting, and I can see clearly now while walking on sunshine. When morning has broken and it's a tequila sunrise, I'm going to send my pigeons to the sky. But the ominous cloud means I can't stop the feeling and, as clear as the driven snow, that you will go now and take the weather with you. There's a mushroom cloud in the sky. In time, I'll see you up there where the paths run steep and high. Then you can come fly with me, up where the air is clear. Enjoy a party atmosphere. And at the end of the day, we'll know there's a moon in the sky called the moon. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, we're going to do I'm sorry I'm trying to find humorous ones here but not too long this one this one's called uh, the fruit of the loins uh, we had to uh, write a poem called uh, bearing the theme bearing fruit the fruit of the loins the simple truth is we were all seeds once somewhere in the past the distant past or less so for others. The ancient primordial swamp that was the beginning, not the actual swamp, but the proverbial swamp, the first, the swamp of first time fumbling, the grumbling, shush, my parents will hear, or I've waited so long for this, in our thoughts, wow, was that worth waiting for? Or, yuck, gads. My mum told me recently, last year, when I phoned to speak to her, on the anniversary of my dad's death, the day after what would have been their 68th wedding anniversary, she said, this time, 68 years ago, at this exact time, your dad and I were, for the first time, trying to create you. Yeah, that was my reaction too, but in silence. That primordial swamp so long ago. Well, it didn't create anything. I arrived later. We were all seeds once. Okay, I'm going to sneak in another one. It says two or ten minutes. I'm going to sneak in. They're quite short. Um, this one's called Euphoria. I don't know if it makes sense to anyone. Um, it's not called euphoria, the theme was euphoria, UG happiness. And uh, I better just explain it first. Back in the 15th century, I was reading an article, there was a, a, a princess or a queen or somebody, I can't remember, her name was Agnes. And she used to have her, uh, when people say turned, this is my best side, she had her favourite boob and she always faced people using utilizing her favorite boob this is called her favorite boob her favorite boob is left is it right aren't they both the same i mean not anatomically but 
in the fifteenth century, it was a not unknown to like one more than the other. But now? Not in a sexual way. No, there's nothing wrong with that. Loudon wrote, Lyrics. Rufus is a titman, sucking on his mama's gland, sucking on the nipple, it's sweeter than the ripple wine. But, not but, but a favourite. Agnes had one. But, do you?